Good morning. Welcome to 90830 Southview. And here's gonna be the front of the home. This is a um, renowned builder who built this and it's Carter Brothers Construction. They're the, uh, definitely the premier builder of our area. Uh, Arc 80 composition shingle roof. Uh, we've got um, hardy plank siding all the way around. Everything is sub-irrigated as far as the sprinkler system. Uh, the house has redundant drains for the driveway and for the for the roof going off of both both directions as you can see here on either side of the garage here you've got um water sumps and drainage there's one there there's one right there and on the other side of these steps there's another one right there so no matter how much rain this property gets it is going to be adequately dealt with as you can see there's another drain as we come down these steps here on um, the left side of the home there is no um, wood ground contact they have six inches of rock going around the complete perimeter of the house that's three to five feet wide um, as we come along the side of the home here we've got exterior access to the lower level and so you kind of get an idea this is your this is the worst view of of the property so uh views will only get better as we go on the main level and deck area and as we come around to the rear of the home you can see there are service decks up here and primary decks up there and is all done with stainless steel cable and brackets so um, definitely a, above and beyond all the decking on this is going to be a composite decking so very low maintenance there the home was just painted this this last year so we'll go around the other side here in just a minute and we'll look at some more some more detail all right we're entering the main foyer and off to the left is going to be the stairs going downstairs to the lower level, which we'll get to here in just a moment. To our right is fully framed for an elevator shaft. Power, structure, everything is there for that. To be able to have your elevator access here, or you can access it, or be able to potentially access it around the corner. And in the main living area, we've got 15 foot ceilings, all tongue and groove. All of the upper windows have electric controlled blinds lower level have all see-through blinds as well and as you come through we've got a large gas fireplace with floor to ceiling stone and custom balance lighting and the home has custom surround sound throughout the home that can be segmented out so you could have different music playing in different areas and as we move into the kitchen, everything were all custom built cabinets throughout the entire home. Every cabinet that doesn't have a drawer has full pullouts, as you can see here. Full granite countertops, custom tile splash. You're gonna be dealing with all exceptionally good quality appliances, KitchenAid with the Sub-Zero look. Uh, Electrolux over here for the convection microwave and oven. Gas cooktop that has commercial rated hood. And on the kitchen, we've got a trash compactor on the left and dishwasher on the right. And once again, all of these are gonna be pull out, full pull out drawers. And as we come over here, as we discussed earlier, with the cabinets, every single one of these is on pull out. So no getting on your hands and knees to get anything out from behind. Also have the separate breakfast nook. Once again, we're dealing with trade and coffered ceilings in here. You can see the speakers in the ceiling, extensive canned lighting throughout the entire home. And here's your view for breakfast. And as we come down here, and we'll see these views better here in just a moment. You can actually see the north and south jetty of the Saislaw River from your breakfast nook. So we're gonna work our way outside here just for a moment before we enter back in. And as we go out onto the deck from the breakfast nook and kitchen area, you're gonna, it's a large covered area for year round barbecuing. It does have 
an outlet for LP gas for your barbecue that's already pre-hardwired in, so no carrying bottles. Once again, all of this is stainless steel. Even the brackets, even the railing itself, as you can see, there's no rust or corrosion. The only corrosion, the only rust that you're gonna see is when they originally drilled the holes, the drill bit, um, left behind some material. But once again, that can pretty easily be, be wiped off. Uh, everything's all done with stainless steel flashing coming all the way around and the septic system is below us. This is your drain field area. Plenty of room to put a little fenced area in down here for puppy dogs on either on e either side of the home. Once again, this is where the deck railing stops. It could continue, but they left this just as a service area. And you can see there's even eyeball hooks right here for w window washing on the uh, on this first floor or on the primary floor. So just for just for safety. But once again, if somebody wanted to, this deck railing could be extended all the way out. Uh, current owners just didn't want or need that much deck area, but they wanted to be able to safely wash the windows. So uh, the only noise you're really hearing from up here is the roar of the ocean. So just an absolutely stunning day and a beautiful property. So we'll go around inside just a little bit more. One component we didn't talk about in the kitchen is this large walk-in pantry here that has room for its own separate. Well, there's the light switch. See all built-in shelves here and has also room for a redundant refrigerator. And we're gonna head back out and go around the corner here, back to the foyer. And as we come around the corner here, we've got a large half bath that backs up to this elevator shaft area. This bathroom could be expanded to a full bath if you wanted to delete out the elevator shaft, but it is definitely, it's there. Um, definitely having that elevator shaft is gonna be, to me, a much, much better idea than uh, adding another bathroom where this house has has plenty of them. So here's our full-size laundry room, lots of folding counters, and a little wet room here for your changing out your shoes and head into a full-size garage. Now we haven't hit the shop area yet, and that's gonna be here in just a moment. The home is fully set up for generator backup if you needed it, which will feed everything on the main floor, including the hot water heater. And here's the generator system here that will automatically back feed the panel. Um, and there's your hookup cord for that as well. So standard two-car garage with a vaulted ceiling does have some built-ins. And as we come through these doors here, we are gonna enter the shop. Now, this area is included in the, in the square footage of the home, the shop area is because it is all finished except for the floor. Um, but this is access in through the garage and can also be accessed off of the back deck where you saw the barbecue and into the main house over here, which we're gonna see here in just a moment. And as we come through this area, little storage room, and this circles around back to the back deck and barbecue area we were at just a few minutes ago. The wood shop, um, the equipment in here can either be removed or it can be purchased reasonably outside of escrow. Um, it does have a dust collector fan up there, heater. Um, actually, it has two heaters in here. So, and one up here as well. And, uh, but this could be just additional finished space or some other type of hobby, art room, shop room, whatever you want to do on that aspect of it. So as you can see, here's the doorway. It goes right back in to the main house. So we just did a, did a full circle. So just some additional detail that may have been missed on the foyer. See the trade ceilings going up to a beautiful skylight up there. 
back down to those stairs we're going to go to here in just a just a moment and as we come through these wall of solid wood doors you've got entry closet area and you've got an electronics control bank over here on the other side that controls your surround sound tv everything for the whole house there's also a hub over here that's has everything here from your coax cable to cat5 as well so this is going to be the main control hub for the electronics for the main house and then as we come in through here we've got this last bank is going to be just strictly linen and game storage and so on and as we move into the master bedroom as you can see as you come through here you're going to have central vac outlets throughout the house and once again an amazing view to wake up to every morning coming down looking right down the coast at those jetties again off there in the in the distance and we're dealing with coffered ceilings or trade ceilings in here again the whole primary floor is does have radiant floor heating through a boiler system, which keeps the whole home at a very comfortable temperature, whatever you would like that to be. Nice thing in here when you're coming into the master bath on these tile floors, the floors are constantly heated and maintained a constant temperature at all times. So makes for very comfortable on your feet getting up first thing in the morning. Large glass and tiled shower, jetted jacuzzi tub with a separate water closet. Once again, you can see the common theme throughout the house with the natural woods, um, the lacquer and stain and all the cabinets in the kitchen in here have all been maintained. They all still look like brand new. The owner's very particular. Have a separate makeup counter over here off the walk-in closet. Um, all the built-ins are gonna be stained. There's a couple armoires and, uh, and a couple other pieces in here that will be personal property, but all the built-ins will be, will be stained. And as we move out of the master bedroom, here is a den office. Um, could be utilized for guests, but there is quite a bit of room downstairs as well. Once again, these are all custom built, built-ins in this den library. They went ahead and did a crown molding in here that kind of pulls the living room and this room together. And for a workspace and a view, pretty hard to beat. Uh, pretty dynamic. This this piece here will be going, but this is all built in for this home. So let's go ahead and head downstairs. So as we head downstairs, you're going to see we've got oak treads. We come up to a tile landing, coming down to oak treads again. And that same common theme with the tile floor. The lower level does have forced wall air zonal heating units. It doesn't have the same radiant heated flooring, um, but if you go down to the end of the main main hallway here, here is that ex access to the outside we looked at a few minutes ago on the south side or, or the left side of the home. And we have an additional bedroom down here. As you can see, definitely has that real light and bright coastal theme. And the views from the first floor are pretty incredible as well. And as we move down, We've got another bedroom coming up on our left. This is going to be mechanical room area in here. And we're going to look at that in a little bit more detail here in just a moment. And we've got a, another bedroom here. So this would be bedroom number three. Once again, it's set up as well with its bump out to, to wake up to a beautiful view as well. And we have a bit of a Jack and Jill configuration for this bathroom. And nice size bathroom in here as well. Double sinks, um, tile floors, countertops, nice size walk-in shower. And once again, even your view from the shower or the commode is pretty, pretty incredible as you look down, look down the coast. And as we move down here a little bit further, we're gonna head into a little bit more of the mechanical area of the house. And in here is going to be the boiler system. See hot water heater there. There is your central vac. And there is your boiler system. And I can get you more details and information on that.
Now on this lower level again, you might want to be wondering, where's the elevator shaft going to come down into? Well, this is going to be your elevator shaft. So it's all framed here in and re ready to go. So this would be the room that's all set up and framed. We're going to take a look on the other side of this wall and I'll show you where the framing is for this. But this would be a quick walk in and then you'd have your elevator doors and this would be your elevator that goes to the upstairs area we, we spoke about earlier. And the next little, little piece about this is going to be the final mechanical and structural. which in this house is pretty darn incredible. Um, they went ahead and had went down to virgin soil and came all the way, all the way out. The structural and engineering on this house was second to none. You can see how even all the insulations even batted in and all the framing and structural. You can see the size of the beams down here for the pre-built in, pre-set up for the, for the uh, elevator shaft. So uh, just everything is o over the top in here as far as overall structural on th this particular part of the home. Lots of large crawl space to get out from underneath. Also makes it very easy for any kind of future maintenance.